Good morning, this is Gareth Vaughan with 90 at 9 at interest.co.nz in association with the BNZ. It's a wrap up of the major overnight events. Now the New Zealand dollar had a, had a big spike overnight after China labelled a Financial Times report that suggested it was considering selling its holdings of euro assets as groundless. Now this helped boost demand for currencies like the New Zealand dollar and the Australian dollar which are viewed as more risky internationally. The Kiwi was also helped by yesterday's April trade data, which showed that the first we had our first annual trade surplus since July 2002, and also much stronger trade surplus in April in the, in the month of April than had been expected at 656 million, boosted by exports of dairy and forestry products. This outstripped the analysts' expectations for a surplus of 450 million dollars. The dollar was up recently at 68 US cents. So it's a big rise um, from where it was at yesterday. This, the China news on China also helped boost the US share markets. Now um, the, the Dow Jones Industrial Average and the Standard & Poor's 500 index were both up more than 2%, with the Nasdaq up more than 3%. This was despite data that showed the US economy grew slightly slower than expected in the first quarter. US GDP expanded at a 3% annual rate, which was slightly be below the official initial estimates of 3.2%. Now on to the activities of New Zealand's richest man, Graham Hart. His Reynolds Group Holdings, which is the holding company for the bulk of his packaging empire, posted its first quarter results overnight. Now these are for the three months to March and saw, him, saw his, his group lose 47.6 million euros. Reynolds obviously is a massive international group with packaging interests spread from Fokotane to Nepal, South America, Europe, the US and South America did increase its revenue by 10 million euros to about 685 million. However, raw material costs rose and his finance expenses shot up by 107% or 60.6 million euros driven by higher foreign exchange losses and increased interest payments on his debt. So you know, that, that's, that's quite, quite interesting and um, he obviously recently issued almost two billion worth of junk bonds to help consolidate his group, to raise funds to help do that and he's now got total debt in Reynolds of 4.5 billion euros or 8.1 billion New Zealand dollars. The company also highlighted that its Reynolds consumer arm, the dominant US maker of foil, wraps and bags used for food storage and preparation plans to exit some un unprofitable markets and product lines. This is Gareth Vaughan with 90 at 9 at interest.co.nz in association with the BNZ.